My name's Debbie. I'm a dietitian. I work with the Children and Young People's Diabetes Team at Hillingdon Hospital. I've come here today to talk about how we teach the school to carbohydrate count for the meals for children with diabetes. When Harry was obviously accepted into school, um, obviously lunch times was going to be a little bit more of a concern for me um, because he would be there all day. Our main concerns were not knowing enough about Harry's condition, um, how that would impact on his daily life at school and what it would mean really for, for us if any, any adaptations we'd have to make for him at school. Children need to have a healthy and well-balanced diet and this is the same for Harry with his diabetes. Well, Harry needs a prescribed amount of insulin with all of the food that he eats and that's to maintain blood glucose levels within the target range. If Harry's blood glucose goes too low, he will have a hypoglycemia um, and that can be managed, but it's unpleasant for him. Equally, if his blood glucose goes too high, that will affect his mood and that will affect his learning, as well as his long-term health risks. So we need to support the school in making sure that Harry's meals are carbohydrate counted. Whitehall Infant School have a three week menu plan with lots of healthy choices for the children to eat. At the beginning of each school year the new menu comes out so I work with Debbie the um, hospital dietitian and we'll sit down and work out what the carb counts are and what Harry's likely to have within those meals as well um, and then we give that list to the school. Harry doesn't want to eat his skin so we're just going to remove it. We can estimate the carbohydrate contained in that and we've taken that value off of what we've put in his pub. There'll still be some foods that will need to be weighed occasionally. Things like the bread, because that's freshly made and freshly sliced, the sizes can vary and the school will weigh those on an individual basis. had great support from the, um, from the team and, and the diabetes nurse. We've been able to ring her up or, or the team up at any time if we've had any concerns. They've done some lovely training with us and, and sometimes if you're not doing things all the time you forget so we've been able to ring up and, and just check things whenever, whenever we've needed to really. I've got a fantastic relationship with the diabetes team at Hillingdon. Um, they're really supportive. They organised training for the school, um, which I was invited to come along to as well, um, and sort of like see how they were going to do it, and I had input as well. So it's been really great, and the school have been very supportive as well. 